This is part two of the video on syncing your music from iTunes. And part one, we looked at how to manage your music in iTunes. And part two, it looks at how you actually sync the music from iTunes to and from your iPad. So let's just copy some across to the iPad. Now on my iPad, in the music app, at the moment there's only two songs synced over to that to the iPad. There's nothing else there. I can look at my music by playlists, by song, by artist, by album, and I can look at audio books and genres of music. And, uh, sorting by artist, so the only way to sort your music on the iPad is by artist or by song. So at the moment it's been sorting by song. So if we went back to song, it's sorting by song, the, the D is coming before the O. If I change that to sort by artist, it's moved to the Chris She coming first, so first name, then surname, and then the, the Walt Ribeiro. So there's only a couple of songs on there. There's also a setting under settings for music before you start. You make sure iTunes matches off if you are subscribe to iTunes match and group by album and artist is on and then you can decide do you want the volume to have a limit currently mine's off but you can turn that down to that you can't actually turn the volume up any higher than that so let's look at how do we actually sync it across from the iPad so back on here there's no music synced at the moment and I would like to sync across the two playlists so here's the ones I want. I want to send across the voice and test music. Now perhaps I might want to take across uh, Nightwish. And as I do it, the space available decreases. So I had 4.4 or something gigabytes left and it's gone down. So you can see how much space I've got. Then I'm going to apply and it's starting to sync. There's a sync button there, but it's already starting to sync. And we can watch that process. There's a six step process to syncing. It's going to back up first, copy any, any updates and any new apps and any new media across to the computer. And anything that I want copied from the computer uh, to the iPad will then occur. So step three, transferring any purchases, any photos, and now it's copying the songs, 41 songs in those playlists. Now it's just about finished its syncing, so 39 of 41 songs have been copied, and with the two songs that were already there, there's 43 songs now on the iPad. Finishing the sync. So let's have a look at the iPad now. Into the music app. And there's now 43 songs. So there's your Nightwish songs. And if I look at it by playlist, I can see the specific playlist that I copied across. I've got iPad playlists. Because they're in a folder, the folder is selected. There's 63 songs in the, in the folder. So if I tap into there, I have the two folders. There's the voice one and the test music one. So it's easier to find things by playlist if you only want specific songs. If you're happy enough to play them all, just switch to the songs uh, tab and play. The songs are organized by artist. Here you can see Andre Rieu, so first names first, so it's not terribly useful by artist. If I want them sorted by song, turn sort by artist off, and now they're alphabetical by song, which makes it if the songs easier to find. So if you wanted to buy a song, so you've got some songs there, 43 songs are already synced there. You can always go to the store and buy another song. Then when you sync your iPad back 
to your computer, that song will be added to your computer. So let's find a song to buy. So let's pick an album. Michael Bublé. I don't want the whole album. But I think I'd like to buy one song. So this one, select the song. I can get a preview by tapping the actual song number. It will give me a preview. So if we're going to buy that, buy the song. And that song is downloading to my iPad. It's not on my computer. Now if I like uh, that song and I want to buy the rest of the album, there is a, a button there to complete my album. So I can tap that one, the 1280, and buy the rest of the album, which I don't want to do. So that song is downloading, or may already have downloaded. So go back to uh, the music app and look for that song. And it's called It's a Beautiful Day. There it is there, Michael Bublé. So that's the song I've just downloaded. Now, when I want that song to be synced back to my computer, I have to go back to iTunes on the computer and copy anything new from the iPad back to the computer. So back into selecting your device and sync. And we're looking up the top to see what actually comes across. So it's transferring the purchases. So anything I've just purchased from the App Store or the iTunes Store will be copied across from the iPad back to my computer and stored in the music library. Determining the apps, so there hasn't been any new apps or photos. Copying across an app update. And new songs. So if we're going back and have a look in the music library on the iPad. And we're looking for the song, It's a Beautiful Day. There's the song that I only purchased today. So there's the date, 7th of August, and the time. You can look up here, that's the exact time and date. So it was just purchased today, so it's been copied across. So when you buy songs, media from the iTunes store on your iPad, when you sync to your computer, they will be copied across. And syncing, all it requires is to go into iTunes, select your device, and select Sync. And that's going to update, back up, and copy everything across. Going the other way, if you want to select the media from your libraries, do that through the individual tab. So I can now decide I do not want one of my playlists. So I do not want Nightwish anymore. I want to take that off my iPad. And at the moment, it's on the iPad. So if we have a look, okay, here's the song. So I'll just go back out of that. Here's the music, the album. That's probably by artists. Have a look by artists. Nightwish. We've got 18 songs and one album. So they're on, and I want to get those off the iPad. So to do that, I deselect them in the playlists in my iTunes Music tab. Click Apply, and now it's syncing. So it's going to remove that playlist. So I'm going to wait for the uh, process to go through again. It should be quicker. And go back to the iPad, go back out of the music tab, go back in, have a look under artists, and Nightwish is not there anymore. We go into songs, Nightwish is not there, so I can take them off quite easily. The most efficient way to get music 
on and off your iPad is to use playlists. So the next video in the series will look at how to sync movies to the iPad.